name is Stacy, Officer Stacy. Thank you so much for joining us. So tell us exactly what happened. Your call to the store and take it away. <clears throat> well, call to the store. Uh, dispatch advised that there's a shoplifter there. I arrived on scene. I made contact with Miss Johnson outside the store, and um, a manager from Dollar General was also outside. And they advised that they had taken their course of action on what they wanted to do. And I started talking with Johnson about what happened. And um, she started telling me she was sorry that, you know, what she did was wrong. She needed help because her babies needed food. They were hungry. So I went to the store, bought her a carton of eggs, brought them back out to her, and gave them to her. She was immediately you know, apologetic. She began crying, asked me for a hug, gave her a hug. She offered to give me all the money she had on her, which was $1.25. I told her, you know, I, I can't take it. You know, I, I don't want it. Now, Officer Stacy, and I, is that you there? We see you there in this. Yes, uh, sir. And look at that hug. Is this the uh, woman who you helped out? Yes, sir. And what are you doing at this point? I see that you have bags in your hand. It looks like you're making a special delivery. Yes, that's, that's, that, that was prior to giving her the eggs. I gave her the eggs, and then that's when she was giving me the hug, saying thank you for them. That was right before we departed. Well, Officer Stacy, what made you respond to a shoplifting call rather than arrest her by buying her groceries? Well, it, it, it was more of a judgment thing. I felt like the better course to take was to help her in her situation instead of make it worse for her. You know, I, I, had, I had a run-in with her previously, and I had seen a glimpse of her home life, and I had seen her grandchildren and her children, and... I knew the story she was giving me was it was true, and so I felt like the best thing for me to do was to buy the X four and let you know let that be the course that it takes. Did you realize that this story would gain so much attention and that you would be on here tonight <laughs> talking with us about your good deed? No, ma'am. I I had no clue I was being recorded, I, and I had no clue it would get this big. It's 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 it's, it's insane. It's I, I, really I want to bring in. Uh, Retired Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. Uh, Sergeant Dorsey, when you hear about instances like this, what do you think about? Well, you know, this is what police officers do, right? I mean, nobody comes on the police department because you want to get rich. You come become a police officer because you want to help people. You want to make a difference. And so Officer Stacy is obviously an example of what most police departments look like. Uh, someone who hasn't lost their humanity and through his actions we're able to see that you can do the job of being a police officer you can be professional you can allow someone to have their dignity you can show compassion and by and large that's what most police officers do day in and day out and so it's just a rare few that have given the profession a black eye and so I'm, I'm appreciative to see this side and I'm glad that it's getting the attention that it deserves. And, and you know, Deputy Chief Hartnett, we've been talking all week um, and all last week really about the idea of community policing. When you know your community and when you know those folks inside, you do have that relationship and you establish those bonds. You hear Officer Stacy saying, well, I've had a run-in with her before so I knew her story was true. Are you 